High school is a living nightmare, right? But this time it's an actual nightmare. Ooh, that's a hot mug guy. Hey guys, this is my review for After School Special, episode 13 of Supernatural season four. If I were to summarize this episode, I would say it's the second best look at the past for the brothers episode in the entire history of the show. The first one being the Christmas special from season three, but this one is a close second because we get to see a little bit more about Dean and Sam and how they formed into their adolescent years. Dean being freakishly tall, which I think was a bit of a miscast because he's taller than everyone, and yet Sam's the one who's gonna overgrow and outgrow him and make Dean look short. Dean's kind of mannerisms, his mentality to the world and to women in general is definitely shown in this episode as well as his vulnerability and his uh, hiding of his actual true uh, issues with his life. Whereas Sam is a lot more open and a lot more human but he also hides his own anger, his own issues inside, kind of lets that kind of break out with the people he meets at the school and particularly the teacher who has such a long-lasting effect on him and this is actually a very personal element that I would hope that all of us can relate to we all had well, at least I would hope that teacher that person who gave us a lesson in our life that we stuck with I have several teachers in my grade school years who I can definitely think back on and remember what they taught me and this episode relies on that and this is in fact an Andrew Dabb and a Laughlin episode and they add a lot of good humor to the episode, emotional uh, attachments to the episode. The ending is a little silly with them trying to find this piece of hair and they're tearing apart the bus and then all of a sudden it's just in the guy's boot which he'll never find it it's in my stinky boot. Overall I don't mind the kind of deviation from the monster. The monster's there, but this is very much a personal episode. I think the actors are really good. I think both of them do exceptionally well. The episode's got a lot of heart to it, but it's also got a little good humor. Maybe the monster bit is a bit kind of on the nose. I do like how it is, in fact, the bully, the big, big bully. I think it's interesting that he's a bully because of the circumstances that he was in economically, as well as watching a family member literally die in front of him. That would obviously build up a lot of anger and a lot of issues with yourself. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more personal about that, but I don't really know where they could have fit that into this episode. I'd almost say that Dean's part in this episode is less important than this bully kid because I would have felt a lot more sympathy for him especially with that little monologue that Sam gives him. Otherwise though after school special is still really good and it's got one of the funniest moments in this season when Dean just takes a giant wind up and whacks that, <laughs> that dodgeball into that kid. I don't know how they got that. I, I, they must have patted the kid but also paid him more to get absolutely walloped like that. Otherwise though, I'm gonna give this episode a five out of seven. And like before, I asked you guys what you thought about this episode, so let's take a look. After school special hits home for me in a lot of personal ways. I was bullied my whole life through preschool all the way through to college. I really love all the gore and horror elements this episode has and overall somber tone. The teacher in this episode is remarkable and something about him reminded me of the good teachers I had growing up who inspired me to be the person I wanted to be. Although it would be dark, it would have been dark if Sam leaves the teacher and we see the teacher smile and his eyes flash demonic black. The, uh, the way it should have shown, uh, it would have shown how Sh Sam had been manipulated by demons his whole life as it established by the season 5 finale. My only nitpick is something about the episode is that young Dean is, it feels uh, off and forced of him really trying to have Dean's gruff tone. Overall this episode felt like it would have been more fitting with season 1 or through 2. The show always presents how much Sam and Dean wrestled with the idea of a normal life after being exposed to all the evil they've experienced and it tries to hammer it in that such a life is impossible if the brothers are alive. It's a great episode, but it's not a necessarily a great episode for season 4 since we're dealing with so much more cosmic issues right now. I can understand a lot of people's concerns about season 4 after the 10 or so episodes that really worked well at the beginning. To me, the writers are trying to make up for the lost episodes that they couldn't put in season 3, and that's why some of the episodes are good, but not fitting the overall narrative of the apocalypse that is inevitably on the rise. That's actually a good point, because maybe this episode would have actually worked really well in season 3 considering what was happening. 
happening. After School Special was a pretty good. I really like the young actors, they're iconic in my eyes in the show's history. It kind of shows how chaotic Sam's life was, changing school every few months is insane, especially when you know the curriculum changes not only from state to state, but district to district within a state. That's actually very true. I, I don't know how on earth he ever learned anything. No wonder he wanted out. Although super weird, it takes John months for one hunt. While the boys get it done in a few days. I like the twist of the ghost, who, who the ghost actually was, and how ironically, the bully being bullied by Sam caused all of this. Nothing deeper to say. Liked it, 6 out of 7 for me because it gave us a gym teacher, Dean. A great cosplay option. I see a, girl, a little girl wear to a convention to ask Crowley's actor what Fergus asked for in his demon deal. Creating an awkward situation, then the little girl hilariously saying, Just kidding, I already know what he got. <laughs> Man, conventions, jeez. Ah, uh, probably going for another year of no conventions. Uh, that's a sad little note. Sorry for bringing that up. You'll enjoy After School Special, even though it's another filler episode. I think these four episodes that aired after the midseason break are the weakest of the season, especially with the two very strong episodes coming up soon afterwards. But of those four, After School Special may be the best story slash character episode. Curious to see what you think. Yeah, no, I, I'll agree. We're, we've got one more filler episode, then we hit it back into really hard hitting. After School Special, I believe this is the first Supernatural episode to have feature ghost possession. This episode is one of the two quality ghost possession focused episodes. This episode is probably the better of the two. However, Spectre from Southern Comfort Season 8 is much more sinister and it has a more appealing characteristics and ability. Southern Comfort is a solid episode despite the fact that the ghosts share some uncanny resemblance to Red Sky at Morning. It takes me four times rewatching this episode to finally appreciate it. It's mostly due to the annoying factor that still bothers me the ghost motives i find him extremely hypocritical considering he was straight up bully i've been bullied myself a lot but i don't buy his behavior as just him acting out however the rest of the episode is actually really well written with sam and dean getting so much development and frankly the best young actors to play sam and dean this is one of the well-written episodes dad dab does plus candace king my caroline before they ruined her in this episode that's awesome. Now I ask you a question. Are you sick because you sound really weird in the past two videos? Also, my previous comment, offensive because... I don't know. I, I can't remember the last comment. Um, no, the, these videos are pre-recorded from ages ago because I was watching about... I think I watched about 10 episodes of Supernatural each over two days to finish this season. But uh, going back to Dirk, I think the thing that... I kind of felt audited out about what uh, his motivations were because of the bullying thing, but it's, it's, it's the fact that he watched his mom die very, very slowly and painfully. I think that is why he is the way he is. And that made sense to me more so when I really cued into that conversation that happened in this season or this episode. The next episode is Sex and Violence, so make sure to give me you guys' thoughts about that episode in the comments below and I'll read those off. And just a little bit of a side note, I have been looking for his name even though I know it's close to the time now. This episode aired four days before Kim Manners passed, and that's why we haven't seen his name since Metamorphosis, and it's really sad to see because he is, or was, probably one of the best directors that this show ever had. But we'll talk about that when we do the Death Takes a Holiday episode, because there is a memorial about him. Anyways guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.